this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make a digital clock using a Arduino uh, with a real-time clock module feeding it the correct time and a seven-segment display that will show the time. Let's get started. So a parts list for this project is basically the Arduino and breadboard and jumpers as usual plus um, this is uh, called seven segment display and it has a backpack with a chip on it. Um, basically it's just a circuit board that's attached to the back of the display and the circuit board helps uh, manage the uh, all these each of these segments um, has is its own LED so it needs a chip to to control it all. Uh, then, this is, um, I've mentioned these before, it's a RTC or real-time clock module. Adafruit part number 255, um, and it has, it's basically like a timekeeping chip, plus there's a battery uh, backup on it that just needs a tiny little trickle to keep the time current, so you never have to worry about it forgetting uh, to tell the time unless, of course, the battery runs out. But it takes like, you know, a couple years for that to happen. And the seven segment display is uh, Adafruit part number 878, and it comes in a bunch of different colors. The one I mentioned is red. Um, so there you have it. Let's get started wiring it up. Okay, let's um, begin wiring it up. The tricky thing about this is that these two actually use four pins each, and they're the same four pins on the Arduino. Uh, so um, it's going to, it's, It'll work out. We'll just follow along. <clears throat> okay, so we have a pin marked a plus. That's for voltage. You can um, you can um, plug that right into five volts over here. But the other um, the RTC needs power too. So let's find. The pin right here marked VCC, that also goes to 5 volts, but we're going to plug it into the same row as this one right here. All right, let's do the same with ground. Find the ground on the RTC and plug it into the the row as same row as the minus here, and then plug the minus into ground on the Arduino. All right. Uh, now there's clock and data pins. Um, the the clock pin um, plugs into analog five, and the data pin connects to analog four. So the data pin on the seven segment display is D, and that one's going into four. And then it's called SDA over on the clock. So plug that into the same row as the same row as the the data pin on the seven segment display. Finally, SCL, which is clock plugs into the same row as C on the seven segment display. Then plug that pin over into analog five. All right, it should be ready to program now. So predictably, uh, we need to download some libraries to make the um, the clock work. And here they are. The first one is the Adafruit LED backpack library. You can see the URL up here. So we're going to download that one. Um, the second one is the GFX library. Uh, it's it's um, it, it creates things like points, lines, and circles. Uh, Um, and even though none of those things relate to the 
the project at hand, you know, doing numbers on a seven segment display, it's hard to do a circle. They still use some of those uh, functions within that library, so we need to download it. Um, and then lastly, the RTC real time clock uh, library. So let's download that one. Um, so install them uh, and relaunch Arduino, and you'll be good to go. Okay. Uh, let's go over the code. As you can see, it has these libraries specified at the top. Wire is um, just a standard Arduino one that you already have. But presumably, you've installed these other three um, that I just downloaded. All right, so um, very quickly, uh, you've got the um, real-time clock library, and it's saying, telling it that there's a, there is a RTC. Just as um, this is telling the Adafruit 7 segment library that there is one. And then in setup, uh, I'm just going to make one change to this that I discovered that um, it wasn't updating the time properly um, if there was that thing, which was basically querying whether there was an RTC installed. So this should be fine. Um, So uh, one interesting thing is that when it gets the time, it doesn't display it or cannot display it in terms of time. They're just numbers. So it doesn't know the difference between, you know, 11 and 13. They don't, they're not actual, they're, they're not times to it. So what you have to do is you have to trick it. You have to multiply the current hour by 100 and then add the minutes. So say... Well, currently it's 11.07. So you would multiply 11, which is the hour, times 100 to get 1100, and then add, well, 8 now, add 8 to it to get 1108. Arduino doesn't realize that's a time. It just thinks it's a number, but we know it's the time. I don't know why there's that at the end. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, uh, basically, it gets the time, and then um, you can see that that there's this uh, um, there's this um, right display here. That's telling the that's telling the uh, seven segment display to show the time. So having gotten the time, it displays it. So let's check it out. Okay, well here it is. You can see it's it's showing the time. Um, I don't know what else to, to say about it. You have your real-time clock module supplying the accurate time to the Arduino, and the Arduino um, telling the seven segment display to show the correct time. You can either do other fun things with it as well, like setting up an alarm. You can have a buzzer and when the um you know when you could set up an if else statement, you know, if if the uh, hour equals eleven then turn on, you know, pin nine or whatever and have the have the buzzer on pin nine. So there you have it. This was lesson two. In lesson three, we are going to show how to make a simple art bot. It is a little robot that rolls around and makes art. Thanks for watching.